Okay, what are lexical and grammatical words? Okay, uh, this, these are two terms you're going to hear at some point, and I, so I want to define them and, and, and give you some examples. Um, um, but they're, this isn't something, this is something interesting. Uh, maybe your teachers will have used these words. Uh, so I wanted to give you a definition. They really don't make a lot of have a lot of practical uh, value in how you uh, actually go about building sentences, how you actually use English grammar. And I think you'll see when we define them lexical words deal with content and vocabulary period grammatical grammatical words deal with the formation of sentences. Okay? So, the implication here is that if, if we weren't actually worried about putting sentences together, we could get along perfectly fine with the lexical words, because the lexical words are the words we need to describe things out in the real world. Uh, but since we are dealing with the formation of sentences, we are trying to form sentences, then we have these grammatical words that help us deal with that. So, uh, I think it would be easier if we gave some examples and, and I'll give some big, some big classes and then we'll, we'll look at some specific examples. So, nouns are lexical most verbs are lexical most adjectives most adjectives and adverbs are lexical now um, we said most verbs auxiliary and I'm gonna put that and modal verbs pronouns determiners which are a kind of adjective um, let me see prepositions and conjunctions okay are grammatical and so let's put some so ship bridge love bill okay these are all things out out there in the real world even if they're just a, an idea like love um, verbs verbs like run climb uh, but also words like seem and become. Okay, these are things that happen out there in the real world. Okay, adjectives like red, big, lovely, um, happy. Okay, these are all lexical. 
and then adverbs like quickly, very, or just, just in time. Okay? And these are all considered lexical. These all have, really, they're part of the vocabulary. They're part of the, 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 the content of what we're trying to describe in our speech or in our language. So let's look. Uh, auxiliary and modal verbs. These are, I mean, uh, verbs. These are verbs like could, will. So will is the word we use to uh, talk about the future. Uh, must. Okay. Those are uh, modal verbs. Pronouns. Pronouns are words we use to replace nouns so we're not really talking about directly we're not talking about uh, something in the real world uh, I is not something in the real world although if my name is Bill then Bill is something in the real world okay you uh, mine somebody okay and determiners are words that talk about which one or how many. So the one um, possessive, which one my, you know, my bridge, my ship. Okay, prepositions. And <coughs> excuse me. And prepositions is one I personally have a little bit of a problem with because words like into and through okay okay I'm going to walk into the door and I'm going to walk through the door uh, th that has real-world consequences especially on my nose so but then also the conjunctions these are definitely grammatical and but if and that as a conjunction so these are all um, these are all what they call grammatical words okay and really in, in the real world the only big difference between them other than sometimes they help us classify uh, classify words uh, but really the big real world difference is lexical the lexical words are open and what that means is you are free to make up new ones um, you're you're free to come up with new um, nouns all the time so you have a new website you want to call it Google Google with a capital G um, that's now a new proper uh, proper noun. So you just created a new noun. And, and we create thousands of new nouns a year. Uh, some of them hang on for a long time. Some of them last a while and go and um, uh, uh, go away. Uh, and, and we can also, you know, we're free to change. So Google is a good example. Google started out as a proper noun and somewhere along the line it became a verb. I'm going to Google that uh, and find out some more information. So uh, these are open. So these are constantly changing. Okay. By contrast, the grammatical words are, for the most part, closed. Okay. It is very hard to come up with new ones and they become obsolete very slowly not that they don't not that there aren't new ones um, not that there aren't new ones that uh, become used uh, or old ones that go away uh, good example in the pronouns uh, the second person singular uh, thy thine thou um, have pretty much you know other than old you know other than reading them in the King James version of the Bible they've really gone away so 
they're pretty much a closed these are all uh, pretty much closed uh, meaning you can't just go make up new ones anytime you want uh, and and again they become obsolete very slowly so lexical words to deal with content and vocabulary some rough connection to the real world grammatical words deal with the formation of sentences all these words help us to build sentences okay uh, I'm again slightly over my self-imposed 10 minutes so I will talk to you later